We just got a full shipment of cars in, and no, it's not this Firebird. Unfortunately, that car's not for sale. But instead of a Firebird, I got you a Thunderbird. This one I just got in last night, all the way from Austin, Texas, and this is the first one that's gold. I've never bought a gold one. It's a 50th anniversary. We'll check that one out here in a second. But this shipment just got in today. I just got four cars dropped in from San Antonio, Texas. I got a Jeep that's got 50,000 miles on it. I believe it's a 2015 or 2016 model. We'll check this one out. I got, got in this Toyota RAV4. That'll be a nice little cheap down payment car. Um, I have, if you want an actual car, I just got in a 2012 Ford Focus. And then for the three rows, for you guys that have a big family, I got a 2017 Dodge Journey over here. This one's got the full three rows in it. Um, pretty nice deal. Needs a detail. Like I said, these cars just got in here. So we're going to go through them. We're going to start them up. And we're just going to check them out. Because I know you guys like to check these cars out with me as soon as we get them in here. So let's start with this one. Let me turn it on. Now take a look at the dash right there. And you see it's all leather. No rips. You got a big old screen right here. This car's only got 105,000 miles on it. So 105 on the miles. Push start. You got a weird looking key. Again, let's with Ford in their keys. You got a Jesus station on on here. Uh, you know this car's going to last you a while now. AC works. And so, yeah, here's this car right here. Runs and drives excellent. I drove, my dad drove all these cars around the block before I parked them here. But they did just get here about uh, two hours ago. Now let's take a look at this little Toyota RAV. Now I know this one right here, I think this one's an O2 model. An O2 model, it's actually extremely clean for an O2 model. Look how clean this car is. No rips on the seats, no stains, or anything. Um, but this one, was it this one? No, the we'll figure it out. We're about to turn this thing on. Like I said, you're seeing these cars for the first time in the, with me. All right, fire's right up. AC's blowing cold. Let's see if this radio works. Let's see. Try and figure out this radio. Let's see here. I don't know. It's not changing channels. I'll have to jack with it later. You can definitely hook your phone up to it, but I can't get it to change the channel. Now, take a look at this Jeep. Four doors. Everybody's been wanting a Jeep. We finally got one in here, Jeep Wrangler. Even got this little canvas top back here that you can take off. You got an extra tire back here. You got little hitches there. Pretty nice ride. I mean, 50,000 miles. I don't know where, I don't think I've ever, I'll say this, I don't think I've ever had one with 50,000 miles on it. And where's the keys of this bad boy? Got a key right here. It's got 50,487 miles on it. Take a look at it. 50,487. Perfect. Now let's fire this one up. Now, like I said all again, this one came out of San Antonio. These all came out of San Antonio. This one's got a backup camera. This one's got Bluetooth. You got a big old Alpine screen in here. I've never seen a Jeep with an Alpine screen like that. Like I said, you're seeing these for the first time. This was it even says trail rated. Take this thing out to the trails, have some fun. Um, now, obviously, this one's going to be a pretty good down payment if you didn't want to buy it cash. I will offer financing on all these vehicles right here. Um, so, regardless of your credit, or even if you got good credit, I'd prefer if you had good credit for something like this. It'd be a lot easier for me. But even if you don't, have some good money to put down, I'll work with you. But come take a look at this Thunderbird. Boma, which car should they get? Which car should they get, Boma? You said you want them to get the Jeep so you can go to the beach. Now, this is my favorite out of the bunch. This one right here. This is more my style. It's two doors. It's a V8. You got the classic little porthole window right here. And again, I've never had a gold one. This is extremely rare color, 50th anniversary. Take a look on the inside. Extremely clean. No rips, no stains. The carpet needs to be cleaned up a bit. Um, like I said, this one just got in out of Austin, Texas is where I got this car out. This car's only got 90,000 miles on it. Cold AC, I've already had the oil change on it. I've already had it inspected. Got the original owner's manual to it. It's even got the little roof rack because this roof comes off. If you don't know, it's got a convertible top underneath it. Um, and I have the tool to take the top off, which is uncommon on this kind of stuff right here. 
but I don't think you understand how clean this car is. This is a 2005 model, guys. Look at, look at any other 2005 model car. It's beat up, it's wrecked, it's got a ton of miles on it. This one, it's in pristine. It looks like somebody just put parked in the garage and drove it on weekends. And that's the way I wanna find one. And this thing's a steal. I think I'm gonna price this thing around $15,888. I'll even offer financing on this one too. So, which, which was your favorite, guys? We're letting all of them run right here. All the ACs work. Um, hopefully, they're still here. I know everybody's getting a bunch of, uh, bunch of income tax in here. So these may be gone before I even post this video. So who knows? So I recommend to come on over here right now and we can get you financing. All you need is some proof of your income, a valid ID, and if you have a bank statement, that would help me out a lot if it had your check subs on it. Definitely speed things up. Um, I just posted this Audi right here. Now this is a 13 Audi A4. This thing's got, I think, 110 on the miles and the interior on this is absolutely impeccable. All leather, black, just, I mean, I can't even do, this is picture perfect condition right here. Picture perfect. Now, if you look over there, you see a rare M5 BMW. My dad's in love with that car. He, I can't even get him to sell that car, but bring me enough money, maybe I can talk him out of it. That car's got over 500 horsepower stock BMW. Uh, but yeah, come to take a look. I got a Hummer over here, but this little S10 truck I just got in, I got this thing priced to sell, it's $59.95. I'll take about $1,500 down on this little truck, put your payments as low as $349 a month. It's a long bed, it's a V6. This is an old school truck right here. It's a 1997, it says Chevrolet along the side of it. Um, beautiful truck, runs and drives perfect, AC still works, uh, Dahmer Reeves 119. Perfect little, perfect little work truck. Got one bench seat, it's leather. Automatic, which is rare. We got this Mercedes right here that's right behind us. I had this one sold, couldn't come up with the money. I held it for a week. People wanted it. I didn't sell it. Now it's back on. It's a whole big old mess. Just come over and buy it for me now. Mercedes, bring about $2,000 down. We'll get you going. If you want another 4x4, here's a Jeep Liberty. Um, bring me somewhere around 15, 16, 17, 18. Who cares how much you bring me? Just bring me something and let me see if I can get it going for you. Got this Equinox right here. I got a couple deals working on this. This is a 2017 model, um, extremely nice. If you want this, you need to get it right now because it's probably gonna be sold by tomorrow. So, which is your favorite new inventory? I'm gonna get some more, and actually I do have some more cars coming in as well. This is just what's got in today. I know people's getting their income tax soon, so I know you, you're asking Bobby what cars you got coming in. Um, so there's what I got coming in. My dad's going to an auction tomorrow. I got some cars and mechanic shops that are coming in too. Um, get this little diesel wagon. This little wagon right here is probably my favorite car in the whole car lot. What about you? You've been riding that wagon too. I've been taking this home all week. I just started driving my Corvette again, but I was driving this car. So this Jeep, I'm going to need some money for a down payment if you need in-house financing. Not going to lie to you. You're, you're probably going to be looking about $5,000 down for me to consider financing it here. Um, Something like this little Toyota RAV, I'll probably price it a thousand, maybe a little less than a thousand dollars down, maybe some around 800, 900, maybe somewhere around there. Um, this little Ford Focus, I don't even know how much money my dad paid, I'm just making up prices right now. He may want $10,000 down, but if you watch this video, come in, we got a good job, it's about $5,000 down on that thing. Um, this little Ford Focus right here, runs and drives great. I know it's got low, we didn't even turn this one on, let's turn this one on. Now, I do need to figure out the radio on this car. This radio does not turn on. It just says, Welcome Ford. I think it has something to do with the key. I think I need to reprogram the key. But this has got 110 uh, on the miles, 118 on the miles. I can't see with my glasses on. But great interior, no rips, no stains. I mean, I don't know who I bought these cars from, but they must have cleaned them up. Said, Bobby bought these cars. Let's clean them all up. So, and we'll get you payments, some real low payments on this one, too somewhere in the 300s most likely. And like I said, don't worry about your credit. Don't worry if you had some repos. Don't worry if you didn't pay anybody back. You're gonna pay Bobby more back once you buy this car. So come on over to Stingray Alley where we get the selection. We're getting cars daily. Don't go spend your income tax anywhere else other than here. Y'all take care.